The Senate on Tuesday returned to plenary after four weeks of Christmas and New Year break. And calling for their attention is a letter from President Bola Tinumbu asking them to confirm the disengagement of the Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, Babatunde Irukera. Tinumbu had terminated Irukera's appointment while the lawmakers were away on recess. The disengagement took immediate effect on the 8th of January, 2024. But in a letter forwarded to the Senate, the president said his request is in accordance with the provision of Section 8, Subsection 2 of the 2018 Act establishing the agency. I hereby seek the kind confirmation of the Senate in respect of the disengagement from office of Babatunde Iruker as Executive Vice Chairman, Chief Executive Officer of the FCCPC. We refer from Monday, the 8th day of January, 2024. Also calling for the attention of the federal lawmakers was another letter asking the Senate to confirm the appointment of Oluwole Adama as the new executive director of the Midstream Downstream Gas Infrastructure Fund. Adama's appointment effectively terminates that of Mansu Kulia, whose tenure of five years subsists. I am pleased to present for confirmation by the Senate the appointment of Oluwere Adama as the executive director, midstream and downstream gas infrastructure fund in the Petroleum Regulatory Authority. Tinubu's action, however, did not sit well with Senator Suleiman Kau representing Kanu South. According to him, the removal of Kulia is unlawful and unconstitutional, stressing that the sacked chief executive was not allowed to complete his five-year term, which began in 2022. Kau said Kulia, who is from his constituency, was not served any letter of disengagement, which he said is a constitutional breach by the president. If for any reason he, he will be removed or replaced for any reason, there must be a process which the executive, although he has power to appoint, but there must be a procedure in line with our uh, laws and constitution. President of the Senate, Gosvila Pabio, subsequently mandated the committees on gas and petroleum downstream to look into Kau's claims and make recommendations to the Senate for further legislative action. Omo Bazoi, Rise News.